So, you just got your new muzzle loader. You want this. But if you don't read this, you might get this. This video will cover the basics, but is no replacement for your owner's manual. Here we go. Hey guys, this is Jason Sebo with CVA, and today we're going to review the basic operational instructions for your Acura Series muzzleloading rifle. Most important are the safety precautions that should be followed with any firearm. Those are printed right here on the first page of your manual under the title of the Ten Commandments of Firearm Safety. Foremost of these rules are that you always keep the muzzle of your gun pointed in a safe direction and that you never rely on the gun's safety. Next in the manual are the safety considerations for muzzleloaders. And there's a lot of stuff here that's very different than with a modern centerfire rifle. One of the real standouts on this is that you never ever load any amount of modern smokeless powder into a muzzleloader. Doing so can essentially create a pipe bomb as shown in this video. So before you even think about loading and firing your new Acura rifle, be sure to read all of these safety precautions. It's much better to be safe than sorry. All right, now let's get to the fun stuff. All the great features of your Acura rifle. First, your gun is a break action muzzleloader. What this means is that the barrel and receiver are joined by a pin that makes the assembly essentially a pivoting hinge. By pulling the breaching lever, the barrel will pivot or break open, revealing the breech plug. This design makes your gun easy to prime, easy to clean, and even easy to unload. And CVA's unique quick removable breech plug, or QRBP, can be removed with just your fingers, even after the gun has been shot several times. The ignition system uses a 209 shot shell primer to ignite the charge, and the 209 inserts right into the breech plug, just like this. All CVA rifles are Magnum capable, meaning that they are safe to use with 150 grains of equivalent pelletized powder or 120 grains of Blackhorn 209 by volume. Okay. Now let's go over the individual components of your new Acura rifle. We'll start with the buttstock, which comes in either standard or thumb hole configurations and features rubber grip panels, soft touch finish, and to reduce the recoil, we have a crush zone recoil pad. This is your sling swivel stud, the breaching lever, which is integrated to the trigger guard, the trigger, the hammer, which has a reversible cocking spur so that it will work for a righty or a lefty, quick release breech plug, the Duracite scope mount, which is standard on most CVA Acura models, the front sling swivel stud, fluted stainless steel barrel, the thimbles, the ramrod with the CVA palm saver attached, and the muzzle, which is recessed for easy loading. All right. Let's get ready to shoot. The first thing we need to do is inspect the firearm, and here's how we do it. Just pull the breaching lever to open the action, like this. Next, remove the breech plug by turning counterclockwise. Verify that the gun is unloaded by looking down the barrel. If you can't see daylight, it's loaded. If there's a load in the barrel or an obstruction, just push it out with the ramrod. Also make sure there's no rust, fouling, or grease in the barrel, and if so, Give it a good cleaning. To make sure the firing pin is functioning properly, just depress the trigger and push the hammer forward like this. And you should see the firing pin protruding from the firing pin bushing. If you don't see the firing pin, you need to take the firing pin assembly apart and clean it. We'll cover this in the next section. Now make sure the threads of the breech plug are well covered with breech plug grease and then reinstall it. Okay, now we're ready to load up and shoot. The loading process for all brake action muzzle loaders for CVA is the same, be it an Optima, Acura, or a Wolf. In this demonstration, I'll be using an Optima to keep things simple. Since we've already checked to be sure the gun is not loaded, I'll run a dry patch down the barrel to make sure all oil from the last cleaning is removed from the barrel. Then I'll fire three primers to make sure the fire channel is clear of any oil or debris by holding the muzzle near a leaf or some loose dirt so you can see if the fire is making it through. I'm gonna be shooting a Magnum charge, so I could drop three Pyrodex pellets down the barrel, but I'm actually gonna be shooting Blackhorn 209, which is my favorite powder. 
I've got 120 grains by volume measured, which will give me similar velocities to three Pyrodex pellets. Measuring Blackhorn takes a bit longer up front, but Blackhorn shoots so clean that you actually save time by using it. No need for cleaning between shots, easier cleanup once shooting is done, and is much less corrosive so you don't need to clean your gun every day during your hunting trip. But keep in mind, if you want to use Blackhorn 209 or any other loose powder propellant, you need to pick up a Blackhorn QRBP. You can find this at CVA.com or any CVA retailer. Now the main difference between the two breech plugs is the standard breech plug allows for the pellets to sit directly on top and the fire comes through the hole igniting the pellet. The Blackhorn breech plug has the center drilled out so the loose powder gets closer to the 209 primer. Now we're going to pour the Blackhorn 209 powder down the barrel and follow that with a power belt ELR bullet. I simply place the base of the bullet into the bullet guiding muzzle. Now if I were using sabots, I would have to use a bullet starter. But since I'm shooting power belts, I can just use the ramrod to push the power belt down the barrel and seat it on top of the propellant. I really like shooting the new ELR power belt bullet. It's a full bore diameter bullet. It loads really easy. It's a really high BC and leaves no plastic residue behind. When you combine that with Blackhorn 209, you don't have to swab between shots. So now I load the gun with a 209 primer, close the gun, cock the hammer, and she's ready to shoot. Now that we've shot the gun, we need to clean it. This is a very easy task with a break action CVA. As long as you have the right cleaning equipment and supplies, a barrel brush, wonder gel solvent, my range rod, parts bath, rust prevent patches, and gun oil. Really, it's the same steps for cleaning any other firearm. Brush, clean, dry, oil. I always disassemble the gun for cleaning and then start with the barrel. First, I remove the breech plug and drop it in the parts soaker. Then I get my ramrod set up with the wire cleaning brush and brush the barrel to loosen the fouling. Now I take the brush off and add the cleaning jag, put Wonder Gel on several patches, and run them through until they come out clean. Next, I run several dry patches to clean out any excess solvent. And the last step with the barrel, and very important with muzzle loaders, I run rust prevent patches through the bore to protect it from any possible corrosion. Once that is done, I spray down the exterior with oil, wipe it down, and my barrel is done. Now I'll start on the action. First, I remove the firing pin bushing using the tool supplied with the gun or a flathead screwdriver. After that, I take out the firing pin spring and firing pin. I place them in the parts soaker, and after a few minutes, I take them out, dry them, oil them, and reinstall in the reverse order they came out. Now, dry your breech plug completely removing any fouling, and give it a good coating of anti-seize grease, then reinstall in the barrel. Next, I spray down the exterior metal with oil, and I wipe it down good and reassemble the gun. And now my gun is ready to be stored away. Okay, that about wraps up the video review of your Acura rifle, but remember, Review the owner's manual before doing any of the things we have demonstrated on this video. Also, if you go to CVA.com, you can get more in-depth muzzle loading instruction by watching our full-length muzzle loading course, The Essentials of Muzzle Loading. Thanks so much for watching. From all of us at CVA, we thank you so much for choosing the Acura series to be your next muzzle loader. Best of luck this fall. Well, that changed. <laughs> now let's get to the fun stuff, the features. What do you mean? Uh, that, that was kind of weird. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I don't know why this last line is so freaking hard. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching. All of us at CVA. God almighty. <laughs>